Hi guys, it's Karen and Derek from Get Fit, and we wanted to bring you another review on a fairly new model that we've just brought in from Brooks, and it's called the Aurora. So this is um, was I guess designed and made by their Blue Line team. So a little bit um, kind of forward thinking, I guess, when they came out with this shoe, thinking about something that's lighter, softer, snappier, faster, and futuristic. I yes. mean, it is kind of futuristic yeah. looking, isn't it, Derek? Yeah, it's like um, you're going to like float on your hug. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So um, to let you know, the, the price on this shoe, it's a little pricey, $200, but with that, you're getting Again, a great shoe, DNA Loft 3, their newest um, foam version that Brooks is using. Uh, like I said, very lightweight, very snappy. It's got a decoupled heel, so you're going you're gonna to get a lot, of, a lot of responsiveness out of this shoe if you're wanting it as a training shoe, maybe a racing shoe. Um, just to let you know, I've, I've done some miles in it, and I know you have too, um, but I also did a, a kind of a, a little race. Uh, it was a tower run that we had here in town. So. We ran to a parking garage, we ran around the parking garage, then we ran down, then we went up 26 flights of stairs. Um, so I just wanted something lightweight, because I knew, you know, going up 26 flights of stairs or yeah. whatever it was, my legs were going to get tired. And I've also run in it, uh, you know, just, you know, some six miles, three miles, things like that. I've enjoyed the shoe. I've, uh, again, like you mentioned, very lightweight, um, very responsive. But yet, I think it's a shoe you could run long in too, don't you yeah. believe? Oh, for sure. Um, with this new DNA Loft, just some facts about it. I'm looking mm -hmm. at my notes, I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, it's a 20, uh, yeah, 26 millimeter heel and 20 millimeter uh, forefoot, so that's a six drop there from heel to toe. And it's so lightweight, what Karen was saying, is the women's uh, weighs 7.6 ounces and this men's is 8.5 ounces and this is technically for a distance a training shoe mm -hmm. at that weight is almost like a speed trainer so mm -hmm. she was saying you could do anything in right. this you have the cushion the dna loft 3 which she said it's nitrogen infused uh their new cushion system that they're testing out so you're getting plenty of cushion for distance runs. And if you look inside the sole, it even says cushion here because mm -hmm. they want it to be used for a good cushion distance shoe. Mm -hmm. But it's so lightweight that you could do any sort of speed work in this and you'd be just fine. Right. So, and these are limited, right, Derek? I mean, yes. across the country, I mean, you, you're you going to have to get on board pretty fast if you yeah. want one. Yeah, if you just want Just because it, of the numbers that they make. You gotta come get it. From my research into it, what I found, um, I heard, or read, I guess I should say, they made only 25,000 of these. If I'm wrong, I guess someone can comment in the section below and let us know I was wrong, but uh, that's what I read. And compared to a glisten or ghost that they make 2 million of them a year, and 25,000 of these were made. Yeah. So. so it's kind of a, I guess, you know, a prototype, something that they're, they're starting out with. They're going to test the waters and see how it works. Yeah. Maybe they continue it, maybe they don't. Yeah. We're, we're not exactly sure yet, um, but we know that we've enjoyed running in them. And they're, they're kind of fun. I love the orange on the men's and the pink on the women's. Yeah. And Derek mentioned, be careful what sock uh, you wear. Yeah. Be wise, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see right through it. Yeah, so you know your color of sock, you can match it with your pink or your orange or black or whatever. And then that mesh is also very fast drying yeah. if it gets wet. Um, and you also liked the kind of the saddle fit or the yes. the, um, the fit of the tongue. I don't yeah. can't remember what you call it. I got a, a sleeve. Yes. Or they call yeah. it saddle. Yeah. It's just a, a material wrapped around. There's no tongues, no mm -hmm. nothing separate. Just almost, yeah. like I said, a sleeve on like a shirt sleeve. They cut off and put in the middle yeah. of this thing. Holds your foot really nice. It's elastic feel, so it holds your foot. Um, and the heel's not super cushioned. There is a little, you can even see the ribbed cushion system they put in there. Put a ton of reflective uh, material around it. So if I'm running at night or early in the morning, I'm gonna light up like a Christmas tree out there on the road. So that's always a great thing about it. Exactly. So anyway, new Brooks Aurora, again, $200. We know it's an expensive price point for a shoe, but if you are wanting that new, you know, creative uh, type of shoe, fast, responsive, snappy, 
Um, you know, your training, I don't know, you could probably use it in a triathlon, oh, um, yeah. but again, maybe something fast, 5K, 10K type shoe. I mean, you could probably run a marathon in it as well, but, yeah. but if you're wanting to try something that's kind of new and futuristic, come in and check out the new Brooks Aurora.